They put up a good fight but fell fast and fell hard this summer. The movie Misfires, led by the $225 million budgeted Lone Ranger, starring Johnny Depp and making just over $29 million its opening weekend. Our IPD died a quick death, the $130 million debacle earning a paltry $12.8 million its first weekend out. Then there is Will Smith's sci-fi drama After Earth with his son Jaden. It got ripped apart, making only $27.5 million on a $130 budget. And Turbo is instant roadkill, making back just over $21 million of its $135 million budget its first weekend out. Someone greenlit these movies. What were they thinking? Hollywood.com's Paul Dergarabedian. I think that's part of it. I think that in some cases, movies that are greenlit uh, and by these committees or who is ever putting these ideas together, and they're not thinking about necessarily what the audience really wants. If you have a $200 million budget, and that's just on your production cost, you have to add 50 to 100 million on top of that for marketing and advertising and those kinds of things, and that really adds up. How do you make that back? So what can Hollywood do to prevent a sequel to this summer's flops? For one thing, make more sequels. Yes, those retreads with digits at the end of their name like Despicable Me 2, Iron Man 3, and even Fast and Furious 6. Those were summertime hits, and like it or not, done well, sequels work. Industry watchers add that while spending less money and actually having a good script is a given, stars need to be in the right vehicle. Bloated budget aside, Johnny Depp in a Western did not work for the Lone Ranger. Also, float ideas to audiences ahead of time via social media. It's instant feedback on what the audience is thinking. And think about the release date. Maybe get out of the summer traffic jam. Yeah, you know, I would tell the studios collectively, you're trying to smash all these films into this 18-week period of the summer, which accounts for 40% of the total year box office. So you can see why they're all clamoring to get in on that. I would also say, pick a release date that might be a little different. Like, as we saw with Hunger Games, which could have easily gone in summer, but it was a March release and was hugely successful. So get creative about release dates as well. And a footnote, for all the high-profile, expensive flops, the overall box office is still up about 10% this summer from last.